fucking down my head Shaving on my shit last night Bitch, you come up with some whips and whips and the titties And the animal will be so nice Titty be too big, it in the ass is too Shit, it'll probably be no good The people coming up smoke bamboo weed Your mama's bubble smoke rolled up wood Got problems, got a problem too. Chilling in Virginia, coming from Carolina, and I was stuck up in the Reaper Van Zoo. Who the hell got problems? Problem of my own. Got no place to rest my feet to eat. Got no place that I be calling my home. It's a little bit of everything, really. We do hip hop, blues, metal, punk rock, acoustic music, uh, reggae. Kind of just like it's like a melting pot of madness, just to kind of blend all styles together. Well, I mean, we've taught, we just taught, we're like road dogs, like we spent a lot of, how we built like our career was touring 200 days a year through the states and I think that's kind of what the fans respected about the band is that we never like, we're trying to push to the radio, we're trying to push to, to do MTV, that kind of stuff, like it was more like real, like the fans were, re were able to relate with us just because we were talking about, you know, regular day life stuff that happens, you know, partying, having fun or whatever, just stuff that affects us but it also affects the regular people and I think they tend to respect that more and see that we're a hard working band and, and always coming back to towns three times you know, three times a year and goes from fifty people to two hundred people to five hundred people to thousand to you know, and then it just kept building and building. You know, no one's gonna come out to the shows if they don't know who the hell you are, so you gotta just go put in what work and like after the shows we like to, you know, go say what's up to the people and have a drink and just tell them, yo, this was fun. It's show your appreciation, like they have appreciation back, so it was, works both ways, you know. Well, we got to build, you know, we have to start out, we never, we've only been out here to Germany once, and I think it's just like in the States, you have to build it, you know, and, and of course it starts small here, just like it did back home, but I think word of mouth from what, you know, the, the fans have seen of the shows, like next time there'll be twice as many people the next time after that, and so on, so I think uh, it's kind of like an untapped resource, really, because we haven't really expanded out here, and. Now it's time because we were already doing well in the states, and and Europe is so much fun. It's now we just got to get out here more. more. More intimate shows are funner though. Anyway, you know the crowd is like, up in your face and it's just sweaty and good. It's the best. You've been on tour with Snoop Doggy Dogg, I heard. So how did that come? That was crazy. Kind of like we were just uh, happened like our our agent and his agent knew each other, and we were just kind of throwing out ideas like what would be a cool tour to do, and uh, Snoop Dogg was into it, and. Uh, then Stephen Marley and Julian Marley was on the bill as well as uh, Mickey Avalon. So it was kind of like, uh, it was a good, good tour for the fans because there was so much different styles of music between all four bands. And uh, Snoop Dogg is the man, so it was, it was fun to share the stage with him. That's what it's about, it's just having a good time. If you ain't having fun, then what the fuck are you doing, you know? It's like, just get out of here. <laughs> you know, having no fun, beat it. That's for sure. Give me no more love. Still gonna need some more. Stealing from my riches, giving to the poor. Telling everyone it don't matter anymore. I don't really need a fucking friend like you. Help me through. Ever wanna change? If I wanna stay, it ain't for too long. It's the same song, be where you go. Closer to the sun, far from your moves. Screaming out they won't see you here Soon 